Well, you guys are working on a docu series on yeah. his life. Correct. And you're are you narrating it or just no producing no I'm it not or? narrating I'm producing, okay. producing it. Okay. yeah I'm producing so uh, uh, yeah I mean right now um, uh, it's still well, of course we know there will be a docu series but uh, you know still putting all the parts together and the pieces mm-hmm. together and everything so everything is still in its infancy stages but I'm excited about it because you know as somebody who has been a commentator throughout his his protest his blackballing throughout this whole last four years it's still it still is astounding to me the amount of misinformation and purposeful mischaracterization of why he did what he did. Uh, as a journalist, you live to be a part of chronicling history. Mm-hmm. And this gives me an opportunity to do that and do it the right way. Do it in a way that when generations look back and see this docu-series, they'll know what really happened and not the sanitized version that everybody wants them to hear. Right, because a lot of the... A lot of the detractors of Colin Kaepernick, the one thing they do say, and I could somewhat agree to this, is that, yes, he does tweet every so often, but he's not very vocal. He doesn't speak publicly on video, at events, or whatever else. He's relatively silent 99% of the time. And with your relationship with him, do you understand why that is? I do. I understand so here's the thing is that um, sometimes with people, you're damned if you do, you're damned if you don't. Because mm-hmm. if he's out there speaking all the time, I'm sure those same people who are wondering why he doesn't speak would accuse him of using his fame, um, his status to gain more acclaim. Um, they would accuse him of being self-serving if he was too out there. And I don't think he wants to look like he's profiting necessarily from what he's done. Obviously, some financial opportunities have come his way as a result. Right. But he's trying to funnel those opportunities to you know, I- employ, uplift, um, amplify Black creatives. He's using some of the resources that he's now been able to get to do the awesome charity work that he's doing um, through the Know Your Rights camp uh, that he's in charge of, his Know Your Rights organization. He's working with young people. He's working with un- incarcerated folks. He's working with the homeless. I mean, he's about the real work. And in his mind, that's the all the talking he needs to do. Now, that's not to say that at some point he won't talk. I believe that he will, uh, that at some point he won't share some of his experiences. But I think for him, he feels uncomfortable with the focus being on him, even though Obviously, he can't avoid that. Even when right. he doesn't talk, it is on him. But I think he he would feel uncomfortable centering himself that way. Because for sure, I know he would have been criticized if he had been a continual vocal voice throughout this entire time. 